Hey guys, Josh Stewart here. Uh, I own an exterior cleaning company here in Medford. I do uh, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof moss removal, house washing, concrete cleaning, all that kind of stuff. And um, I've been in business for about a year. And I am going to show you today my transformation of my current system uh, to a new one. And it's uh, building a um, building a system on a budget. The one I have right now was built on a budget. And uh, I say that because a lot of the like shiny systems out there and you know awesome looking systems out there, I'm just not at the point where I can afford to drop you know fifteen or twenty thousand um, dollars. And that's uh, an investment, absolutely. But everything that I'm going to do today, you could get for under five thousand dollars. So uh, help, I hope this helps you. Uh, I've been in business for about a year. I think I said that, uh, but I make uh, I make a monthly income from this. So this is enough to pay all my bills. To, um, you know, to, to live, uh, to have a livable wage and to have a schedule that I control. And honestly, I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't work like a crazy person. Like I'm not working 60 hours a week. You know, I'm working maybe, you know, in the field. I think this, this week I worked 30 hours in the field and then plus this kind of stuff, plus, you know, phone calls and uh, handling finance and marketing. So it's, it's not a crazy job. It's pretty awesome. Very thankful. And uh, I hope that uh, your journey, uh, if you're doing pressure washing and you're just beginning, I hope your journey is as good as mine has been. And I'm sure there's some of you watching who are going to benefit from this. I know there's others of you watching that you know more than I do about stuff. And so if you see something that I'm not doing right or that needs uh, um, some correction, please put it in the comments. Like I, I wanna keep learning uh, as I go. So uh, let's, uh, let's do this. All right, so it's a few days later. I'm uh, done with the uh, new uh, setup. I've used it a few times. It works great. Super stoked with my uh, 35 gallon buffer tank back there and with my uh, five and a half GPM pump. It is just um, really not a day difference. It's, it's, uh, it's working great. Uh, so I'm gonna just give you a quick tour of the new setup and kind of explain a little bit of, you know, a couple things that um, came up as I was building it. All right, so. Obviously, there's there's the engine, which is uh, working well. 16 horsepower. I may uh, upgrade to an 18 horsepower just to give it a little more power, and then uh, make a backup machine with the with the 16 horsepower. Um, I don't have it uh, bolted into the into the truck, but I have. I don't think I don't know if you can see it back down there, but you see those those little hooks right there. I just have it strapped in, so it's nice and secure. Um, pump working great. Um, you know, got the the site there for the oil to check the oil level. Um, unloader, I originally put it on backwards, which is not a good idea because uh, no water comes out, and it was a little freaky. Um, then uh, here you've got the bypass, and um, on, on some pumps, the bypass will um, uh, hook hook back up into the uh, into the unloader into the into the pump the pump head. But um, when you have a buffer tank, you can just run it straight to your buffer tank, and that keeps uh, cool water flowing. Got um, the chemical injector right here, and it goes. Uh, to my buffer tank and I've got just a, a two-way nozzle here. I just like the, I, I like the idea of being able to mix water with um, SH. So SH is in the blue tank back there. You see this little uh, device here. That's just a pipe that goes straight down into the tank and I've put a bulkhead there. I've, I've uh, I screwed it into that yellow uh, lid and so I can just uh, take it in and out as I switch out um, 15 gallon uh, drums with uh, my supplier. And so it's just making it real easy to switch in and out. Um, yeah, so when the SH comes here, and I, I can turn it on, on like that, so it's full blast. This this is off, and then it just connects straight to the uh, downstreamer. Um, or if I want to, I can mix a little bit of water with it, so it's not uh, not as strong. And uh, and here I can just I can flush my. Um, well, if I turn this on with the chemical off, I can flush the line, which I don't I don't honestly know if this is a great idea or not, but it seemed kind of fun at the time, so I'm gonna experiment with it. And then when I'm not when I'm not uh, downstreaming, I'll just take that off and tuck it under there. Um, there I've got 75 feet of uh, zero G hose. Really like this stuff. Like it's very uh, flexible and easy to use. Doesn't get all kinked up um, when you're trying to straighten it out. Now you do have to keep it straight, or it will get kinked up uh, uh, when the water's running. Um, quick connect here, and I like having this option to turn this on and off because if your Hudson valve gets gets stuck and water's just you know uh, <laughs> uh, spewing out the any any place it can um i like to be able to turn this off and then you can just take this off and unhook it and 
see what what's going on with the Hudson valve and and those are pretty easy to take apart and just say okay you know uh, why is this why is this locking up um, I've had to do that actually when I was building it so and I love having the Hudson valve in the lid because you can get more water in the tank um, because uh, the level of water is only going to go up to a little bit above the bottom of the Hudson valve so if I had it here the water level would be about where it's at now I use some water so that's why it's a little bit empty but now the water comes up to about right here, which is is uh, pretty cool. All right, set up here. Got the it plumbed with a a, um, a bulkhead that plumbed to the um, the ball valve. It's nice to be able to turn that on and off. Um, filter, uh, quick connect here for you know I can take this on and off. When I um, first started the machine, I I needed to um, for some reason I'm not sure why I needed to uh, prime it with some water, and so I you know, unhook that, put a hose right there, put some water in it because the gravity wasn't, wasn't going up, but I haven't had to prime it since. So, you know, anytime, even when I empty it, so like right now it's, uh, gets cold at night. So I make sure to empty the pump of all water and I actually put a little, a little, uh, shop light on it to keep it, keep it warm from freezing. Um, but anyway, so really great to be able to disconnect that. I'm trying to think anything else that I learned here. Oh yeah. It was just a bear getting all the fittings to not leak but um good you know good plumber's tape and then uh you can see this uh i'm not sure what it was called but it was it was uh some type of uh paste that you put on the threads you can see a little white right there and that's uh really helped to seal it but it's not a permanent sealer it's uh temporary a uh, red bucket there i've got uh different fittings um ball valve um j rods things like that and the green green tank is uh, my chemicals like a uh, uh, roof uh, klingon and um uh, different soaps and uh, rust removers, things like that. Hose reel, love that thing. That's a 300 foot hose reel. I have 275 feet on it, and I think I will mount it right there. I was just experimenting. Got my muck boots right there. You can see gas can. You can see right there. Um, what else? Oh yeah, just you know, just different um, uh, push broom and soft bristled brush and things like that. And then up here you have. My new 24-inch uh, surface cleaner. I tested that out. Works great. I've got a bunch of different ladders. Got a 28-foot, a 24-foot, a 16-foot, and this that little blue. Um, I guess that's a six-foot. I think. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the setup, and it's uh, it's ready to make some money. It's actually, it's already made me money, and uh, it's um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome setup. I'm really stoked. Like I said, I've used it a couple times. It works great and uh, it's making me an income. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll put some uh, links to the stuff I bought. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if, if I made any like huge errors, I'll put that in the comments too because I want to keep learning and I don't want to uh, steer anybody else wrong. But this is my system, my setup, and it's working well. And I don't remember exactly what I spent, but I'll do my best right now. So for the engine, it's like 300 and change the pump so around 500 the tank um 150 so 350 plus 150 is 500 and 500 is a thousand so a thousand of those components add another hundred bucks for the plumbing um so it's eleven hundred dollars you know i don't know just for fun the hoses and you know different connect probably twelve hundred dollars so it's probably a twelve hundred dollar machine uh, with the buffer tank and, and the uh the supply hoses and then over here um my high pressure hoses um, probably $250 um, there. And, so, and then the reel was, uh, I think, uh, 300, so that's 550. Um, so 550 plus the, what we say, 1100, 1200, so 1750 so far for that. Uh, gutter cleaning tools and all that, let's say 100 bucks, so 1850. You know, chemicals, we'll just say 50 bucks to get you, you know, a good surfactant. So $1,900. Um, you know, if you do, you know, you'll need ladders if you, obviously, if you go up at all, you know. Um, so, probably $500, $500 in ladders, so that's what's at $2,400. I spent $300 on the surface cleaner, that's $2,700. So, this is about a $3,000 setup minus the truck, um, which really isn't bad. So, I'm, I'm excited. It's, uh, it's uh, working great, making me money. I hope it's been helpful for you. As they say in all the pressure washing Facebook groups, spray on.